Hello everyone. Today I will explain for class 10, chapter 3, exercise 3.2 and question number 2. First I will read the statement. On comparing the ratio A1 by A2, B1 by B2 and C1 by C, C2. Find whether the lines representing the following pair of linear equations intersect at a point or are parallel or are coincident. Now, first I will tell you what is a A1, A2, what is a B1, B2 and what is a C1, C2. Coefficient of x that is 5 that is A1 and this coefficient of y that is B1 and constant term is C1. And now second equation this coefficient of x is a2 and coefficient of y is b2 and coefficient this constant term is c2. And you have to remember this. If a1 and a2 divided by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So these lines are intersecting line in graphs. In graph, they, the lines will intersect each other. But algebraically, there will be unique solution. If A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2 and equal to C1 by C2. Graphical, they are coincident lines. Means lines and second lines cover this line. That is coincident lines. And algebraically, there are infinite many solutions. And you have to remember all this and learn this. Now, A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2 and not equal to C1 by C2. Then, graphically, they are parallel lines and they have no solution. Now, we compare this A1 by A2. This is 5 and A2 is 7. And B1, B2, I will write here, B1 by B2. It is minus 4 by 6 and C1 by C2. That is 8 upon minus 9. You have to consider one point. If they can cut each other, any table is common, so you can reduce this term. 5 and 7. They not come in any table, so you will write 5 by 7. If there is minus 4 by 6, you cut with the table of 2, minus 2 by 3. And 8 upon minus 9, they are not coming in same table and it will remain same, 8 upon minus 9. Now you compare A1 by A2, 5 by 7, which is not equal to B1 by B2. And I have told you, if A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2, these are intersecting lines. When you draw the graph of these two lines, they will intersect each other. And we will get only one solution, means unique solution. Now second part. Second part equation is 9x plus 3y plus 12 equal to 0 and 18x plus 6y plus 24 equal to 0. First we will write a1 by a2 which is 9 by 18. Now b1 by b2 3 by 6 c1 by c2 12 by 24 9 and 18 comes in the table of 18. We can reduce the term which is equal to 1 by 2. 3 and 6 you can reduce the term. You will get 1 by 2. 12, 2 is 24. You can reduce the term 1 by 2. And you compare this. What you are getting? A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and equal to C1 by C2. Here I have told you if A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 and equal to C1 by C2 there are coincident lines 
graphically they will cover each other one line and another line will come on this line and in finite many solution algebraically you will get now question number 2 third part equation is 6x minus 3y plus 10 equal to 0 and 2x minus y plus 9 equal to 0 we will compare a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 a1 by a2 6 upon 2 b1 by b2 minus 3 minus 1 y coefficient is not there you can write minus 1 now c1 by c2 10 by 9 6 and 2 you can reduce the term 2 3 is a 6 you will get 3 this minus and minus will cancel you will get 3 10 and 9 has no common factor you will get 10 by 9 when we compare this a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 what you get a1 by a2 this is 3 and b1 by b2 is also 3 but c1 by c2 is not equal you write not equal c1 by c2 now see the third condition a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 so graphically these lines are parallel lines their position are like parallel lines they will not intersect each other and we will not get any solution means no solution thank you and like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching